ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு த செஷன் ஆன் நெட் கான்ஃபரன்சிங் இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் செஷன் வி சா ஏ டெமோ ஆஃப் ஹவு டு யூஸ் கூகுள் மீட் அண்ட் ஆல் த அசோசியேட் ஃபியூச்சர்ஸ் இந் திஸ் செஷன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி ஏ டெமோ ஆஃப் ஜூம் சாஃப்ட்வேர் வெர்ஷன் ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் செவன் பாயிண்ட் ஜீரோ யூசிங் மேக் பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் ஆல் திஸ் ஃபியூச்சர்ஸ் அவைலபிள் ஃபார் மேக் வில் பி த சேம் இன் த விண்டோ சிஸ்டம் ஆல்சோ ஷார்ட் கட்ஸ் அண்ட் டிசைன் ஆஃப் த ஐகான் மே சேஞ்ச் லெட் அஸ் சி ஹவு டு யூஸ் ஜூம் அப்ளிகேஷன் நவு which is more than just a meeting let us explore the various features as a host and as an invitee once you open a zoom icon from the application folder this screen will appear if you do not have a zoom account use the below sign up button to create a zoom account use the registered email id and the password to sign in to the zoom account zoom also allows us to sign in using google and facebook accounts once we sign in we will see this home screen We can click on a new meeting button to start a meeting and then invite people from inside the meeting. Join meeting will have this option to enter meeting ID or personal link name. We can enter the name we need to display on the screen when joined. We can choose this option if we do not need to connect any audio and to turn off video while connecting. This is option to schedule the meeting. Once you click on this, you will get a scheduled meeting pop-up window to create a meeting. Enter an appropriate topic for the meeting. Add date and time of the meeting or make it a recurring meeting so that with the same meeting details all invitees can join any number of time as needed. Next we have meeting ID option to be generated automatically or to invite using the personal meeting ID. Personal ID is helpful if we want to have a customized Zoom URL to share easily and invite others for a meeting. Next we have the security section. We can create a passcode for a meeting or we can enable the waiting room. We should definitely choose any one of the option or both. If we enable the waiting room option, then only the host can allow the participants to enter the meeting. Next, we have the option to keep host video on or off and participants video on or off. Select one of these option. Then audio. Select the appropriate options. Use system audio or telephonic audio or both. We also have the option to add meeting details in the calendar of the device we use. Next we have an advanced option button. Once you click on that, we get the following menu. Allow participants to join any time. This will allow participants to join before the meeting start. Mute participants upon entry. While joining the meeting, participants will be automatically muted. They can unmute themselves if needed. Automatically record the meeting. Once meeting started, recording will be enabled automatically. Next, we have the option to approve or block entry from users from specific country or region. Using this option, we can allow or block users from selected countries. The alternative host option is to give access to another person to control the session. The alternative host should be the user of the Zoom account associated with this Zoom account license. Then only the host can assign the other user as an alternative host. Once all the settings are done, we can save the meeting. Next to the share option, we have the option to share screen using a share key or by meeting ID. It is used to share screen from other devices like tablet or phone to share the screen for presentation purpose alone. On the top, we have a chat button next to the home button. This allows us to chat with the people in the contact and with the other Zoom users. After that, we have a meetings button to see the list of meetings we have scheduled. And for each meetings we have buttons to start the meeting, copy the invite, edit and delete the meeting. If we click on show meeting invites, we can see the default invitation created by Zoom for the particular meeting we have selected. Let's now see how to start the meeting. Once you click on the start button, the meeting will be started with a pop-up window to select the audio option. Select join with computer audio button. to connect the speaker and microphone with the zoom meeting now you are in the zoom meeting in the bottom left we have the option to unmute and start the video option on each button we have a small up arrow icon to change the device we need to use in the center we have a security option to block meeting enable waiting room hide profile pictures then we have option to allow participants to share screen chat rename themselves unmute themselves and start video These are features we can explore later. Lastly, we have a suspend participants activities button. Once we click on this, a pop-up window will appear with a suspend button. 
If you click on this, then everyone's video and audio will be turned off, screen sharing will be stopped and the chat will be disabled and also meetings will be locked. As a host or co-host, we can suspend all participants activity in the Zoom meeting. The co-host functionality activities are not changed or stopped as a result of this action. Next to the security button, we have a participants button to see the list of participants in the meeting. This is displayed on the right side panel. At the bottom of the panel, we have an option to invite, mute or and more button. Under more option, we can see this list of options available to control the meeting. We will discuss this during the hands on session. Note that all these options will be available only if you started the meeting as a host. If you join the meeting started by others, then the options will be lesser. We have a chat button next to the participants button. Once you click on it, the chat panel will open on the right side of the screen. This will help to chat with all the participants during the session. Host will have the option to chat with individual participants and can be given access to others from the three dots icon present at the bottom right side of the chat panel. After the chat, we have the share option to share screen in many different ways. We can share a full screen or any particular window. We also have a whiteboard option to write, type, highlight and discuss during the meeting. In the bottom, we have share sound to share system audio and optimize for video clip to share video clips in better quality. We have more option in the advanced menu to share a second camera and portion of the screen etc. We will go over this during the hands on session. Here we have a record button to record the zoom session in two ways. One is to record on your computer and the second is to record on the cloud storage of the zoom account. We also have a breakout room option in zoom to create an individual room for a particular number of participants and to do activities with them exclusively. Only the host and co-host can move participants from one room to another. In the breakout room, we have an option to create several breakout rooms. We can create up to 50 rooms in each Zoom meeting. Note that this option may change based on the Zoom license plan we had purchased. We also have the option to assign participants automatically, manually or we can also let the participants choose the room they want to go to. This is very useful feature to use in the large meeting where group discussions happen. Next to the breakout rooms button, we have a reaction button to express our reaction in the meeting. Next, let's take a look at how to stream the Zoom meeting. We can live stream the Zoom meeting on the YouTube or Facebook. Once you click on the live on YouTube button, we need to log in to our YouTube channel to receive the Zoom meeting video feed and give permissions to Zoom to access our YouTube channel. We can give a name of the meeting and select the privacy settings to choose private or unlisted or public. If we keep it private, then only with the login of this YouTube account, we can see this live. If it is set as unlisted, then anyone with the link can only see. If it is set as a public, then anyone can see it and it is searchable in YouTube with the title we give. Also a notification will be sent to all the YouTube subscribers of the channel. So we have to give extra caution in giving the privacy settings. After selecting the option, we can click on the go live button to start the live streaming on YouTube. We can stop sending the video feeds by again selecting the more option and clicking the stop live stream option to stop sending the feed to YouTube. Note, we also need to stop the live session from the go live page on YouTube after completing the session. Once the meeting is complete, click on the end button on the right bottom to end the meeting. Now we have completed the full demo of how to use Zoom video conferencing software. Please note your doubts, we will discuss them during the hands on session. With this session, we have completed the web conferencing topic. Thank you all. Happy learning.